Welcome to Mang Robert TV. If you are new in my channel, please consider to hit the subscribe button and click like and the notification bell to be updated in different technology and livelihood education, grade 6 lessons. At the end of this lesson, it is expected that you will be able to do the following. 1. Survey to find out. A. Persons in the community whose occupation is animal fish raising. B. Kinds of four legged animals, fish being raised as means of livelihood. C. Possible hazards that animal raising can cause to the people and community. D. Ways to prevent hazards brought about by raising animals. E. Market demands for animal fish products and byproducts. F. Direct consumers or retailers. Survey to find out persons in the community whose occupation is animal. Four legged and fish raising. Survey is a research method used for collecting data from a predefined group of respondents to gain information and insights into various topics of interest. If you have decided on the kind of farming you want to do, it is best to scout the area where you are situated. When you conduct your own survey, take your time and get as much information before you begin farming. Whether it is small-scale farming or large-scale farming that you have in mind, it is best to do the following steps. 1. Know your area. Find out if there are other farms of the same kind in your area. How many? Will there be competition between you and the other farms? 2. Know the local animal or fish industry. A. What other animals or fish are raised in other farms? Will it have any kind of effect on your farm? B. Where will you be getting your farm supplies? Know the office of the provincial veterinarian or the local office of the Bureau of Animal Industry. 3. Know the people in the community. There are certain rules on zoning. Make sure you have been cleared to put up a farm or raise documentations should be secured prior to operations since animal farms are prohibited to operate in or near residential areas. 4. Know your market. Know the local market and middlemen. Get in touch with direct buyers, consumers, and retailers in your area. 5. If Learn from others. Some say that experience is the best teacher. Learn from other people's previous experiences. Think of ways to do business deals better. Let us ask is what you learned. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. 1. Survey is a research method used for collecting data from a predefined group of respondents to gain information and insights into various topics of interest. 2. It is not necessary to survey before you begin farming. 3. It is important to know the kinds of fish, animals raised in other farms. 4. Farms of the same kind in an area do not affect the animal raisers in a community. 5. As an animal raiser, you should know the local office of the Bureau of Animal Industry by 6. Get in touch with direct buyers, consumers, and retailers in your area. 7. Permits and other documents should be secured before the operation. 8. Learn from other people's previous experiences. 9. There are no certain rules in zoning. 10. Have a plan as to where or to whom you would be supplying your products. Conduct survey to find out possible hazards that animal raising can and the ways to prevent these hazards animal and fish raisers are exposed to numerous hazards daily. Serious injuries may be prevented if appropriate protective equipment is used. A safe workplace prevents illness and injury not only to the farmers but to animals as well. Hazards in raising animals 1. Injuries. Injuries inflicted by animals can include animal bites, kicks, crushing, ramming and trampling. Spread of infectious diseases. Some of those diseases are ascariasis, animal influenza, scabies, ringworm, salmonellosis, and other animal diseases. 3. 3. Noise pollution. Noise from livestock and machinery can affect your hearing. 4. Antibiotic resistance. Resistant bacteria from the animals transmitted to humans making diseases less treatable. 5. Water pollution. Runoff water carries animal waste and other pollutants that can pollute rivers, lakes and even underground water. 7. Air pollution. Animal manure can release deadly gases into the atmosphere. Ways on how to prevent hazards brought about by animals. Practice good management in breeding and feeding to prevent pests and diseases. 2. 
Comply with complete sanitation and precautionary measures like practicing cleanliness at all times, good feeding methods, and vaccinating or immunizing the animals as needed before sickness or diseases strikes. 3. Select and isolate sick animals. 4. Keep proper fences to prevent the spread of pests and diseases. 5. Refrain from overcrowding the animals to give them enough space for movement. 6. Always provide suitable shelter with proper lighting and ventilation. Right? Right yes if the statement tells about the hazards caused by animal or fish raising and no if the statement tells about the ways to prevent hazards. 1. Select and isolate sick animals. 2. Spread of infectious diseases. 3. Provide well-lighted and ventilated shelter for the animals. 4. Animal manure can release deadly gases into the atmosphere. 5. Practice good management in feeding and breeding to prevent pests and diseases. 6. Noise from livestock and machinery can induce hearing damage. 7. Keep proper fences to prevent the spread of pests and diseases. 8. Resistant bacteria from the animals transmitted to humans making diseases less treatable. 9. Runoff water carries animal waste and other pollutants. 10. Set limits on the number of animals to be raised in the facility. Market demands for animal fish products and byproducts. Animals play a very important role in our lives. They provide products and byproducts important to everyday life. Animal product is any material derived from the body of an animal. The byproduct is a secondary product derived from the manufacturing process or chemical reaction. It is not the primary product being produced. For animal or fish products and byproducts. Meat. Animal tissues that are suitable for use as food. Beef. From cattle. Pork. From swine. Jevon. From goat. Dairy products. Dairy products or milk products are a type of food produced from or containing milk of mammals. Dairy products include food items such as yogurt, cheese, and butter. Thing. Items are worn in the body. It is made from fabrics or textiles and other garments made from animal skin. Animal-based fertilizer contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the primary nutrients plants need to grow. Manures, blood meal, bone meal, and fish meal are examples of animal-based fertilizer. Medicine. Medicine. Animal-based medicine, derived from animal bodies' secretions, fluid, or glands. Insulin, heparin, cod liver oil, and antitoxins are some examples of drugs obtained from animal sources. Market Marketing strategy for animals and fish products. Selling. Refers to selling products directly to the consumer. This strategy guarantees the biggest earnings because all expenses of the commission and extra handling is cut out. Retailing is a distribution process, in which all the activities involved in selling the merchandise directly to the final consumer, i. e. the one who intends to use the product, are included. Retailers are people who buy the products and resell them to the customers. Let us assess what you learn. Identify what is being asked in each statement. 1. It refers to selling products directly to the consumer. 2. An animal tissues which are suitable for use as food. 3. Items worn in the body. It is made from fabrics or textiles and other garments made from animal skin. 4. Derived from animal bodies secretions, fluid, or glands. 5. Type of food produced from or containing the milk of mammals. And that conclude our lesson for this week. Thank you very much.